Hey all you cool Oceanside Otters! Welcome to the week of the 11th May to the 14th of May. Le 11 May au 14 May. Lundi à jeudi. You will notice this week there is no Friday as it is a professional development day. Here is again our must-dos, our next, and our last. You can see that there's not much in the next and last and um, that is because there is no school on Friday. First, the must-dos. I excel. We're going to do an introduction to subtraction for grade ones and an introduction to single digit from double digit subtraction to grade two. For some of you, this might not be uh, a new task, but for some it may be. The sections are a little bit smaller and there are extra sections for grade one and you'll understand once you check on IXL. We are going to continue with character this week. What are character traits? This week we're going to listen to the story Les Trois Petits Cochons until it reaches the seven minute mark. Fill in the labels to describe the wolf shown on slide six. Fill in the sentences to describe the pig on slide number six as well. We are continuing our review of Leçon O et O. There is a crossword and a fill in the blank word shapes. We have done this in class several times. It will not be a new task for your child. And continue to listen and repeat the sight words and listen and repeat the French combination sounds. Continue as well with your reading for Joli. I know this week there was a bit of an issue with the play button. If that continues, many apologies. Just have your child read the best that they can. Next for math, we have this marshmallow geometry on slide 15. You can continue boom cards for literacy. I have added a crossword puzzle for butterflies. And as well for last, there is a butterfly feeder if you so choose to make one for your backyard. And for literacy, I put in physical literacy this week. Again, with Madame Elliott's PE bingo card, you can send that to her once you are done. And can you find something scavenger hunt on slide number 17. You will notice a lot of slides this week, and that is because I have no links for them. They are actually put into slides. The YouTube link will be here, and it will be linked as soon as I am done this presentation. And again, I will see everybody for our Zoom sessions that continue for grade one at nine o'clock, grade two at 10 o'clock, and Friday at 11 o'clock. Guided lesson number one. Comment décrire un personnage? How to describe a character? On utilise les adjectifs pour décrire un personnage. Voici des exemples. Brave, méchant ou méchante si tu es une fille. Beau ou belle. Caring en anglais, parce que je n'ai pas trouvé le mot en français, je n'ai pas changé. Prends soin. Paresseux ou paresseuse, si tu es une fille. Petit, petite ou grand, grande. Pour les personnages, il faut demander. Il ressemble à, elle ressemble à, il dit ou elle dit. Il fait ou elle fait, elle se sent ou il se sent. What this means is, is for a character to describe them, you could say, what do they look like? What do they say? What are they doing? How do they feel? Those are all good things to think about when you're going to describe your character. Once you listen to the three pigs, les trois petits cochons, there is this activity, quel mot décrive le loup dans l'histoire? How can you describe the wolf? On a affamé, gentil, timide, grand, petit, méchant, intelligent, sournois, sneaky, triste. Affamé is hungry. We're also going to use this activity to do this on your own. Décrivons le cochon. Le cochon est, the pig is, le cochon est, 
Le cochon a, he has. Le cochon porte, the cochon is wearing. Guided lesson number two. Contiens avec le son O et O. We will continue this on our Zoom lesson, but you may have your child read along. Le beau temps est ici. Venez, les amis. Sautez dans l'eau. Quand il fait chaud. Allez en bateau quand il fait beau. Remplir son seau pour faire un château. Le beau temps est ici. On s'amuse aujourd'hui. Les mots avec le son O. Un chapeau. Un bateau. Un cadeau, show, un crapaud, jaune, autre, aussi, beau, beaucoup. Here's the example of the um, fill in the blanks for the words. You can see the list at the bottom. Also, the word search. If you do not have a printer, please just have your child write out these words and they can draw the boxes around them. Think of our cat, les lettres de ventre, les lettres de tête, et les lettres de cœur. Same for this one, your child can feel free to do it on a computer if they have a drawing tool. It does not need to be printed. Guided lesson number three, les mots usuels. Je lis, vous lisez. Read along with me after. Ce, set, set, c'est, chose, combien, chante, sans, chez, cherche, pas chèche, Bjorn, chaise, Comme O et O, comme dans un chapeau et O comme auto. Jaune, aussi, saute, beau, chapeau, beaucoup. Et, 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 comme dans la maison. Fait, maison. V. J'aime. Chaise. Fraise. And you will notice some of these repeating words, but that's okay. It's always good practice to see words continually to get better at recognizing them. Again, continue with guided lesson number four. Just click and play to review the common blended sounds that are so important in the French language. As you can see, French is a very vowel-based language. And again, these are the, um, the more advanced sounds. If you need a number line or a hundreds chart, please Google it and you can find some printable versions for your child to use at home. These are always tools for subtraction for this week. Here is a video to play for grade ones on how to subtract numbers up to 10 using pictures. And here is one subtracting one digit by two digit numbers for grade two. And in class, I always say it is a challenge for my grade ones. So feel free to play the video as well to further your learning. Here's our next activity for math. This is called marshmallow geometry. So you can make 2D shapes and name them. Then you can make 3D shapes and name them. And here are three different activities to further your learning. You could make a constellation, you could create a sculpture, or you could make a tower. If you make something, please send me a picture. I'd love to see your creativity. For writing, this is just a review. Here is an example of how I described my character. La cochonne est belle. La cochonne est petite. There should not be an S there. My apologies. La cochonne a deux oreilles. 
la cochonne a deux rubans sur ses oreilles. La cochonne porte une robe. I will make sure that gets changed once I send you the slide. Next and last activities. Here is the scavenger hunt. Um, can you find something? This is an outdoor one. Things you can do to climb over that is rough. Please feel free to do that as well as the butterfly life cycle word search. And here is a next and last activity. Make a butterfly feeder. All the steps you need. And by the words of Dr. Seuss, I will teach tiny humans here or there. I will teach tiny humans everywhere. You got this de moi, Madame Dracani. A bientôt mes amis.